Hello, photography. I wanted to show you this um, program called easygift.com, or it's actually a, a website. Um, this is the URL right up here. I'll make sure that I post a link to that in Canvas as well. Uh, to get started, uh, obviously, you're going to need to have some photographs that are ready to go. Now, they do have ways to edit your images built into the website, but it's far easier to pre-edit and put them all into one space first or one folder first. So let's go to the GIF maker. And then I am going to go ahead and upload some of my pictures. So I made a little folder called Easy GIF. So I have these um, few pictures here that I'm doing to assemble and I have six files all together they do have a warning here about how many files you can upload the max size of each file and then how much it should add up to when it's all done so mm, you might need to lower the quality of your pictures, uh, or at least the ones that you're gonna upload to this. Um, if you're shooting on a DSLR, you might wanna turn the quality down to normal, possibly basic. Let's go ahead and upload these. We'll make a GIF. Click that again. It's gonna take some time. Um, don't be alarmed, all right? It, it, it's thinking. You can see this little thing moving back and forth. Um, give it some time, and then it will be good to go. Okay, it's finally ready. Uh, it does take a little bit of time to process the photos, especially if they're a bit larger. Um, you can change the order of your slides uh, with mine looking at this it works out just fine this is how I intended these photographs to be displayed but you might need to drag and drop them if you want um, here this delay time um, you can adjust how quick it is I say we try making the gift first before we adjust that and then uh, as far as your loop count goes I'm leaving it empty so that it loops forever. Um, you can choose, you might want to have it loop like one, two, three, or four, or five times. I'm gonna delete that though, because I want it to be empty. And then there's some other things you can do here, um, like adding crossfade frames, which will help um, create more smoothness in your animation. I'm gonna leave that off right now though, because I just wanna see what it looks like. All right, and here we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah. I think that actually works out pretty well. Uh, I was going to reduce the, the time a little bit, uh, but I think that's actually pretty much how I want it. So down here, there are more things you can do. Now, like I said, uh, when I prep this file or this folder, I had already arranged my pictures in a way that I wanted them to be, and I had already pre-edited those images so that they look the way I want them to look. But you can adjust that things. You can adjust the size, you can crop it, you can optimize it, there's some effects you can add. Um, you can write some things into it. That's not what I wanted to do here, so this looks how I want it to be. So let's go ahead and save it. Looks good. And now I have my animated GIF. So if I go ahead and just open up a random browser, I can go down here, drag this in, and now we can see it. And what I'd like you to do for your assignment is to go ahead and put this into Canvas so that way I can see all the cool animated GIFs that you make. Hey, have a fantastic day. I hope this all made sense. Email me if you have any questions.